welcome back to another one it's your boy yardman abroad um, and i am out in the streets of barcelona yeah man just wake up not too long ago it's about 10 o'clock now um i missed breakfast in the hotel yeah breakfast finished at um 10 and it's like after it's after actually it's actually it's actually five past 11 right now so i missed breakfast in the hotel so i'm just on my way to go get some breakfast now and yeah before i go and explore what this city has to offer my second day in barcelona yeah man yeah man abroad so just trying to find a little spot right now i can have some breakfast you know get that energy up you know before i go explore this place yeah man it's a beautiful morning a beautiful morning nice and sunny already you know as you can expect from this country so yeah man let's go find some something to eat and we're gonna hit the streets and see what's going on out here you know yardman abroad stay tuned stay locked in like the video share subscribe comment yeah man don't know all right guys so i'm just walking down here trying to find something to eat then boom coffee jamaica experience now obviously i would not be yardman abroad if i you know i'm literally looking for breakfast right now and i see this in the middle of barcelona and i don't go see what that's about let's go let's go give them a full review here yeah? let's go see what this um jamaica coffee experience is about right they better uh, the, hey the coffee better tastes like jerk chicken Alright guys, so I just pick up a croissant and um, a chocolate. Now, they have um, Blue Mountain coffee here as well, so I'm gonna finish this first and I'll take the coffee to go away and I'll give you a full review. Yardman abroad. Don't know. I see Jamaica when I'm overseas, I have to go see what it's about. Make sure they're not abusing my image. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm speaking to the ladies there and they're like, yeah, um, it's basically just the name. <laughs> but they do have, um, yeah, Blue Mountain coffee. I don't know if you can see that but yeah the lady said it's just the name and said just a name thing but nevertheless still very interesting to me you know the entire place is branded with um jamaica this here uh, coffee product of jamaica west indies yeah if the if the coffee itself is actually like real and proper blue mountain coffee then you know i can rock with it but if it's not I have a problem. Yes, yeah, so I'm just um, getting a coffee to take away now. You can see the place is fully branded Jamaica. So I just pick up some coffee. Um, but yeah, thought this was interesting. Let's see Jamaica coffee experience. So it's fully brand branded Jamaica. But yeah, that lady was saying it's basically just the name. Um, I think basically what they tried to do was to build a you know a brand around blue mountain coffee you know and they just call it the jamaica coffee experience but pretty much everything in there is you know geared towards you know 
a Spanish audience, but they do have Blue Mountain coffee and that's the only Jamaican thing about it. If indeed this coffee is from Blue Mountain itself, then I can work with it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it's feeding the economy down there. If indeed, if indeed, and that's a big if. So, yeah, I can work with that. Now let me try out this Blue Mountain coffee, see if it really tastes like it's from the island. Even, even though I'm not too familiar with the taste of Blue Mountain myself, but let me see what I got. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. I, I, I don't know, guys. I'm not. I'm not. You know that much of a coffee connoisseur for me to be able to tell if this is from Blue Mountain or somewhere else in the world. If you can do that with coffee, then you are a true barista. Yeah man, that sound, that feels, that's very strong though. Definitely gonna give me some energy to go explore. Yeah man. But yeah, Grand Jamaica is a thing. You know? Grand Jamaica really is a thing. Some people use it authentically and others just build a brand around it for our hype but what's interesting though the area this um shop is in as you can see it's quite a up area come on gopro i can't even see nothing on the gopro now i'm not even sure if it's working girl it's definitely recorded but yeah the area it's in it's quite a quite a nice area um here in barcelona um yeah there's a lot of like luxury shops around um and yeah and that coffee shop is like right in the middle of it all so yeah you can see where the brand is situated that it's really in a upbeat area and you know the brand sits nicely within that area that was interesting to me and to see that in the middle of Barcelona they don't know so I had to check that out man I can't be the yard man abroad if I'm not you know if I'm not reviewing and checking out all things Jamaicans that I come across abroad Yes, people. Brand Jamaica. Pick up yourself. Strong. Keep going. Yes, people. Live in the city. So I'm about to head down to what's called the Barceloneta. Um, this thing is um, it's like a, the beach area. So I'm gonna go check it out. I'm with my own boy. Snack at the fence. Local. We local. Day one. Go we local. way back. Yeah man. yeah man, so we're gonna go check that area out. We're just waiting on the bus right now. Five minutes. But yes people when you're in another when you're in a new city, take the bus man. You know you get to see things. You know what I mean? So we're just waiting on the we bus don't get right it, no now. Taxis. No taxis. Buses, no taxis. We can afford it. it. We can't afford it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> we can afford it, but yeah, it's good man. You can see see you get to yeah, see man. things um at a slower pace, you know? So yeah man. We're about to head down there now. The tour continues. Yardman abroad. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, this looking like a busy tourist area. Quite a lot of people out in the streets. You might have to come back and check this out because you don't know. You want to be where there's people, you know, where there's activity. Yeah, this area looking real, yeah, real full up of people, a lot of people out here. Where is this? 
Piera Parada. I'm sure I just butchered that, but that's what it's saying on the bus right now. What time is that one? Uh, 4.45. 1.45 one what yes. time is it now? 1.45 10 past 1 10 past 1 so 10 euros 10 euros 10 euros is that the one here? Yeah? Uh, it's uh, similar, it's coming now this one okay? yeah. Yeah. yeah so we are part of one so we just um, yeah, came here just to get some information so yeah. we're going to jump on one of these boats at um, 1.40 uh, 1.30 to get number 4 number 4 yeah yes. right. no yeah so it's like 10 pounds to get on so oh we have about 30 minutes, 30 minutes yeah so let's go for a little walk and come back then we're going to do a boat tour Yardman abroad yeah i'm here with my boy snaga benz yeah man that's my good, 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 good friend. <laughs> Can't replace them on there with pocket kindness. So, may I say, yeah, man, we and this brother here go way back. So, yeah, we just said at the, at the marina. Valeria. Yeah, so. Yes, people, this place is very cool. Like if you're into boats. So just checking out this marina we're about to jump in the boat a little bit later do not buy from blanket salesman this is a punishable fine punishable with a 50 pounds fine yeah they're saying don't support the hustlers out here Yes, Ben, what do you think of the place, man? It's nice, man. I like it. Yeah. Even though, like, it's winter, it's warm in it for winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. We're not used to weather like this this time of year <laughs> in Europe. Yes, people, so I'm about to enter the boat now and go for a little boat ride on the river, on the, on the waters. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, that's my boy, he wastes no time. Straight to the bar. <laughs> what are you getting bro? You better be getting nothing but orange juice in it. <laughs> Trying to keep my boy out of trouble, man. No alcohol for him. A lot of people here already. Yes, people, Yardman abroad. So the boat are head out and now you get me. Next stop, Kingston, Jamaica. Yes, it, yeah, man. Hopefully, we get some good views out here.
people up underwater. talking and stuff like that or uh, you don't think so yeah i don't know if there's gonna be like a guide on here i can't see anyone that look like they might be a guide right now so, so i guess it's probably just some um, sightseeing alone Yeah, so the tour is about, um, what is it, 45 minutes, right? Ooh. 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, people, Yardman abroad. <laughs> out here. You get me? This is what it's all about, you know, traveling, you know, new places, new things, new perspective. Get out there and travel, people. Yeah man, these things are dreams come true for me, you know? Same as me, bro. Yeah man. I mean, when you were a young, uh, when you were a young youth in Zimbabwe, yeah? Always wanted, man. This is what, what I wanted you, to do yeah. at the time, yeah? Like, I want to go there, I want to go there, but it's one of them things where you don't think mm. you're going to do it, but now you're actually doing it. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a dream come true for real, man. Right? Yeah, because like I said, guys, when I was a young yeah. youth growing up in the garrison in Jamaica, um, never, never could I imagine, you know, such things, you know, going to such places. Those things would have been a, a wild dream for me back them days there, you know. So now having the opportunity to, to get out there and actually do these things, it's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Uh, you get me? I don't take it for granted. All right. I know you guys don't want to see my face, so... Let me go back to the views. I think that's a, a beach over there. Oh, there is a beach. Yeah, so we're gonna probably go check that out later as well. I got it. Guys, I'm imagining falling into this water I do not want to be there yeah we want to go check that beach out I don't know how well you can see it's quite far away um hopefully you get closer to the beach but yes people we're just out on the waters in barcelona just doing a little boat ride um like i said this ride is not really about the views it's just just an activity you know you can get out on the water if you want to relax a little and you know taking a bit of sea therapy We're just heading in now. I like that building there. I don't know if you can see it well, but it fits in very well with the coastline. In the sense, it's like a building that looks like the sail, like the sail of a of a boat. So yeah, I like that building. But yeah, we're just heading back into the harbor now. It's been a good little ride. Nice little adventure out on the waters. You know, just relaxing taking in the scenery yardman abroad people like share and subscribe yeah we're in barcelona i'm um, just taking a little boat ride out on the water you know so uh, just heading in now they said it's 45 minutes but it feels so much quicker but you know it is people when you're up in fun time really it does fly so yeah just heading back into the port now One of those 
confiscated Russian yachts, probably. Maybe I should go confiscate the confiscated. <laughs> but it's not look at that. It's, it's equipped yachts. Yeah, so you can actually buy yacht from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wanna buy yacht? Those are levels right there. Big levels. Right. Work hard. You never know. You can get it there. Barcelona yeah. nice. Yes, people just heading back into the arbor now. The boy from the ghetto touring Europe. Yes, people, we outside, we out at door. There's some sort of a castle or something on the top of that mountain right there. That might be interesting to see. So yeah, don't be surprised if you see me looking down off the top of that thing. But I'm seeing so much things that I want to do today. So definitely loads of activities to still partake in. What do you think guys? You think Yardman abroad should go on a cruise? Let me know now. let me know down in the comments if you wanna see Yardman abroad on a cruise on a cruise ship. This is huge. Yeah man. Titanic thing. Yeah, that's something that would be very interesting actually to go on a actual cruise ship. So we finished the boat right now, just heading into the mall to see what we can find. Yeah, so we just came from outside. Outside there's like a, a food area, little food court, so you can go and eat out there. It's more like made for same time. Yes people, so they didn't allow us to film inside the mall, so they shut that down quickly. So we're just outside right now at the food court. We're just waiting for our food to come. Yeah, man. We can't come to Spain without eating some paella, so... Yeah, that's what we ordered, a seafood paella, so... I'll let you guys know what's happening. Yes, by the yard, but I'm proud we're out at a boat. Yes, people. Live a life. More flights, more life. The yard, man, abroad said that. Yes, guys, so the food just arrived. Still at... Yeah man, seafood, seafood paella. Yeah, you can't come to Spain and not have a paella, so I'm gonna tuck into this right now. Holy thing, brother, holy! Yeah, so we've got like one big one to share for the two of us. Yeah. 
Get it all. Get it all. Get it all. <laughs> also, yes, they call it double. One fortune in two minutes. Yeah. First, yes. That tastes good. Nice, yeah. That is amazing, man. You can leave that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but these are lizards, did it? Yeah, man. See the the sea cockroach. <laughs> yes, people think it's good, man. We are here enjoying ourselves, man. Mm. Nice, that tastes so flavorful. This is some good rice. Let me try one of these prawns. Oh! Mm. Good night. Good night. That's good. That's good guys, I'm gonna finish this up. This is amazing though. Authentic paella in Spain. Amazing. <laughs>